Today I'm going to show you how to eco print with flowers. So this is a really cool technique if you want to see the flowers as prints on your fibres. It gives you a lot of control over design and pattern and you have the charm of the actual form of the flower printed onto your fibre. Hello guys, welcome to or back to my channel, my channel Billy New. It's been a, a long time since we've done any videos because of life and families and babies. <laughs> um, but today we're going to be doing some eco printing with flowers. So I also have a brand called Billy New um, where I make um, and sell clothing and accessories that I quite often naturally dye as well. Um, you can find all of that stuff on my website billynew.com and I also have an Instagram Billy New Apparel so if you fancy giving me a follow head over there. Um, yeah so the three of us today we're going to be taking you through how to eco print. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the funniest person in the universe, Shads? Is it your sister? Okay, so I have been growing some of my own dye flowers in my garden this year, but they haven't started to flower yet. Well, a couple of them have, which we'll be going to collect later, but my Coreopsis and Marigolds and Cosmos haven't started to flower yet. So I went to my friend's garden centre and amazingly they had some. Um, so we've got Coreopsis here, two types of Coreopsis, and apparently this is a Coreopsis as well, which I've never seen this type before, so I'm excited to try using this. <laughs> <laughs> we've got some Cosmos also, but just pink, the pink wow. variety. I'm growing some orange variety in my garden. Um, oh. And these, I've already forgotten what they're called, but they were nice and orange, I thought I'd give them a go and a marigold there. <laughs> so we're going to be eco <laughs> Okay. So we're going to be eco printing on silk today because silk is a really nice fabric to work with for natural dye. It takes the colours really easily even if you haven't mordanted it. Um, so it's just a really good one to, to give you an example with. But obviously you can eco print with other fabrics as well, as long as they're natural. Um, yeah, and this is basically all my equipment that I'm going to be using today. Some string, some wood, which I collected from the river, which has been cut by beavers. You can see their little teeth mark there, teeth marks. Um, we're also going to be using a bit of plastic for the, the eco printing process, but I'll take you through that later. <laughs> Your flower's been born. Yeah, they they oh they hatch. Can I also take some? Yeah, but well, I'm just gonna get the dry ones because we need to keep cutting them so that more grow. Let's cut some dry ones. Yes you can. And look, these we're gonna use as well. These have gone a bit closed now, but I'm just gonna Oh, look at this set. I'm going to cut one of these. We're going to use this for it. Look how pretty that is. Someone sent me the seeds from this from Instagram. Yeah. And it is a hollyhock, it's called. So Can I, I think, cut one? Yep. Yeah, I think these will be really good yeah. to do our eco printing with. Just cut it on that little bit of the stalk there. So you don't cut the actual flower because we're going to use it. There you go, hold it. And we'll take one for you and one for me, yeah? So maybe this one as well, if you cut it down here, down here. Oh no, actually no, because there's one that's about to grow there. So yeah, cut it here. We cut here. I think we're good. So we've just come back from the garden and we've each got a couple of flowers of, that were growing in the garden. The hollyhock, I'm not sure what that is, but it was on my, um, the lady whose garden it is. It's a flower bush, so I, I stole it. And we've got some, Pink cushion flowers. So now we're just going to get some of these um, Coreopsis and Cosmos that we bought at the garden centre and we're going to use those to eco print as well. So I'm going to cut a couple. I might just do like some just the top bit of the flower. I'm going to include some with the stalks because I think the stalks tend to eco print quite well as well. I 
And these ones I'm really excited about. They almost look like um, marigolds, these ones. Like but that one. You want to cut one? Yeah. yeah, I'm going to cut this one. You can have this one if you want. One of these ones, another one. And... Can I cut this one? Yeah. I'm not sure if these are going to... Well, we'll see, won't we, if they die well or not. Let's just cut <laughs> they everything. look like two eyes. I told you to cut the eyes. <laughs> they do look like two eyes. So this is our selection of flowers that we've got. I'm going to do the first one. So this silk is damp. It's not wet. I've wet it and then I've put it in the spin setting in my washing machine to, um, to make sure that any excess water is taken out of it because that will help with a clear print. I'm just going to put these in here for now so we've got more space on the table. Thank you, Billy. That looks pretty, doesn't it? Yes. So make sure you've got a nice flat surface. I have to say that eco printing isn't my general go-to. I'm more of a kind of bundle die kind of girl. Okay, so we've got our fabric nice and done. I'm just folding it in half so that we can see where the crease is. There we go. So we're going to put all our flowers on that side, I think. And no flowers here. Yeah. So I'm going to do this one to start with, darling, and then you're going to do the next one. So. Maybe. <laughs> I'm going to put this one like that. Mm -hmm. It's going to be quite hard to roll this one because he's got quite a, a lumpy head. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put some facing down. You can put some facing up as well because they might print differently because they've got different, they'll print differently on different sides of the fabric, you see. That one I'm going to put facing down. This one I'm going to put facing up, so like, no, facing down. Remember we want to keep some for your, oh. for your silk as well. I thought I was doing this one. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I think that's good. Yeah. Right, I'm going to put, where should I put this one? Here. Like that? Yeah, that's pretty. So I'm just going to fold it along the crease there. Hang on, maybe like that. I'm excited about this. So, what do we do now? Now, you don't touch it. Try not to. I'm just going to push it down gently. Okay, now, so I've just got this big piece of plastic. This is going to act as a kind of barrier to stop the colours from bleeding through. So I need to cut it out to pretty much exactly the same size as my fabric. I might go a little bit over. I'm not Mrs. Precision, so a bit, of, a bit wonky, I'll be okay. Okay, so I've got my piece of plastic. I've got my folded over fabric and my flowers in between. So what I'm aiming for is a nice clean print. So my fabric's damp, but not wet. And I'm gonna layer the plastic over the top. Just, this table's a bit wobbly, but try and get it as flat as possible. And then I'm gonna get my big stick and I'm gonna roll it as tight, as tight, as tight, as tight as possible. Because we want the, and I'm gonna push down because these bits have got quite a big knobbly bit in there. I want to get them as flat as possible. And it's going to look like a really nice spring roll. Okay, keep rolling. Maybe with the next one, with each flower, we might give it a, a bump on the head to flatten it out a little bit. Right. There. And then you could use another piece of fabric um, to wrap around the outside just to keep it even more secure. I'm wondering if I'll do that. No, I won't do that this time. And then I'm just going to make sure it's tight. I'm going to roll down. I'm 
when I get to the bottom, I'm going to roll back up again because it helps keep the fabric in place. And then, oops, I'm just going to tie it to this bit at the top. No, that's just to go on the table. There we go, we've got one button done. Can I oh, wait, I'm actually going to do a face. Okay. So, two eyes. Mm, is it going to be the nose? Yeah. The nose is going to be like this. Mm -hmm. A nice big smiley mouth with this in the middle. Mm -hmm. Foldy, foldy, foldy. Foldy, foldy. Okay. Because the last ones were quite lumpy, I'm going to give these a little bash and just see if that helps or makes any difference. Who knows if this will help? I don't know. Don't get your thingy. I'm not going to get my thingy. Even a little one. How like it? Just to make them a little bit flatter. For easy rolling. Bye bye. And then give one a bang. Okay. Watch my fingers. Yeah. Yeah, and then. Okay. Um. I think that's good. His mouth. Look, his mouth. There we go. We've got his mouth. Can you pass me some string, please? Hands off. One, two, I'm going to steam these for maybe 20, 30 minutes. I'm just going to check on them in about 10 minutes to see how they're doing and see what I feel like they need. And hopefully we'll have some awesome eco-printed flowers. Okay, you have a little rest, darling. I'm just going to check the flowers and you can see them starting to come through. I'm going to leave it for a bit longer. Whoa. Look, this one looks good, look. You can see the flower. Oh Careful, it's hot. Oh my feet was gosh. Shall I open this one on the floor or on the table? On the table. table. Can I do it? Go on then. Do, 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 do. Next time, if I don't want the marks of the string, I think I'd put an extra piece of fabric around the whole thing mm -hmm. so that we don't get marks on the silk. But the marks uh, are really pretty. You like them, do you? Yeah, they're super pretty. Do you? And I want it. Uh, so what so you will Oh okay. look at this. Look the yellows come from this the stalks. Oh uh, yeah. Oh my gosh, I really should or I listen to you with my talk. <laughs> See sometimes it's good to good to listen to mummy, isn't it? That's yeah. a hot stick. Wow. It's not even hot though. It's a shame that this one here doesn't seem to have worked because it looks so pretty, but it was an experiment anyway. Oh la la! Oh la 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 la! Oh my gosh. It's. it's oh, it's. Yeah. Oh. So, that's, that was the one we were trying, wasn't it? It didn't really work very well. Which is a shame, because it was a really pretty flower. So, actually, I think. I know you think that the string is pretty, but it's a shame, I think, that the string has put its colour onto the silk, because it takes away from the prints of the flowers a little bit, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, oh look at this one. one. Oh, that's that worked too well as well. And this one didn't work very well. No, my oh. work. Did it? Yeah. Okay, so these are our results. Um, this is Billy's. She got a bit like experimental in the last 
10 minutes and got a bit smashy and rubbed some of the petals everywhere, which I actually love. I kind of prefer it to, to the result that, that we kind of came out with, which I think it's lovely. She's got, she's just rubbed in the petals around here. Anyway, so that's Billy's. And this is mine. I have to say I'm a little bit disappointed with my string. I wasn't expecting it to leave a colour. I haven't used that string before and I won't use it again because it's kind of taking away from the, the prints a little bit. But anyway, you can see that the Coreopsis works really well. You can get a really clear definition of the petals. Um, then I love this kind of, this is the purple pincushion flower. And I just love that big splodge of purple with a little splash of green. And it looks nice if you can get the, the stalk in as well. But I'm not sure I steamed this for long enough, actually. Um, yeah, and those are those new kind of Coreopsis that we tried. They're pretty cool. Hollyhock. And then that one that didn't work very well, which was just an experiment. And here you can see on the cosmos, the, the leaves started to come out a little bit, which is really cool as well. Um, yeah, so overall, it's not like the most beautiful final piece, but you can see how the technique works and you can see that you can get some really clear definition of certain kinds of flowers, some work better than others. I've actually only eco printed a handful of times as I tend to be more drawn to bundle dyeing. So I wouldn't say I'm an expert eco printer, but doing this video has sparked an eco print fire. And now all I can think about is doing more experiments and refining my technique. I'll be sure to share them here with you. Thanks for watching and as usual, like, comment and subscribe.